beers, 50 beers. I've never seen people drinking. I've loved talking to so many people here. You get to hear so many stories and perspectives. And, yeah. It's about 50 years of games fucking classics. So, This one is called Book Tank. It's just, it's the place, man. You know, people come from out of state and they just go to games, so. Here, it just sounds the best. I don't know what it is. Different amount of people that are here all the time. I'm from Switzerland and I've like never been anywhere like here before. This is where people go. This is where players play. This is where fans, you know, listen. <laughs> We should all hold hands. The whole time. The yes. whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the band Fishbait. That's right, they're a punk band with a progressive rock approach. We're not a fucking punk band. <laughs> we're, we're a funk rock band. Candle Street Company show at Gabe's was kind of our first real gig. Yeah. Yeah. So. About three years since we've been playing shows for actual people instead of yeah. ruining our roommate's experience. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With our terrible music. If it's anywhere, it's right here at Gabe. True. I wouldn't play anywhere in Iowa, but Iowa City. That's not true. Don't say Don't that. Point. Don't say that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't rather be from anywhere in, in Iowa yeah. than I would say there that. You go. That's good. Yeah. We first started coming to Iowa City, uh, checking out the music scene probably 10, 15 years ago. It's the vibe. It's the whole scene. It's everybody that comes out. It's a combination. Uh, yeah, we, we like checking out local music. Uh, I used to play in a band here in town about 10 years ago. And we would play games, and it's fun to come out and support the local acts. Oh, yeah. Pretty much I only come when um, Worst Impressions is around because they're my favorite, so, you know. My first band and Kylie's first band, uh, Part-Time Vegan, started back in, I want to say July 2021. Uh, it's kind of a post-pandemic band. Um, our first show ever was at, at Gabe's, and it was just a uh, super cool experience, you know? All of it, all of it combined. The speakers, the performers, the Audience, everyone, everyone just makes it a great time. And you know, you'll catch some of the bands in the audience listening to other artists performing. It's pretty cool. Now, Gabe's has this legendary uh, history of bands that have come through and play here. So, like Nirvana, Smashing Pumpkins, The Killers, uh, the Black Keys, to just name a few, have all played. Uh, it's pretty cool and uh, a little humbling at first. And then uh, eventually you get used to it, and then it just becomes kind of home. There we go, there we go. All right, boom. Please don't die. If you do, make sure it's after one. Uh, the only downside is uh, a lot of people know me and I don't know them. So sometimes like when I'm walking down the street during the day, I'm like, hey, Flippo, how's it going? I'm like, I have no idea who you are. Yeah, oh yeah. I didn't do it for My Chemical Romance for like their first like four or five times here. So I watched them go from like 10, 20 people to 50 people, like to where they couldn't even play here anymore because they got so popular. Before that, I started in 2001. Yeah, I moved to Austin for about 10 years and came back. As soon as I came back, got a job here again. It was like, I love being like around the people and like, just being able to like joke around. And, like, yeah, well, like I said, like off and on, I realized this today, sadly, that I've been here for half of the 50 years. Yeah. 
music was a big factor. There was this was the blues scene, man. In the '70s, blues was was happening, and so they'd book up a lot of blues bands from Chicago. But every day they had what was called double bubble, which you got two drafts. Well, when it started for a quarter. And I remember when it up 35 cents. And pitchers were a big thing, so you get a pitcher of beer for, you know, a buck ten or something. And now, if you came in there with a dollar and you left sober, it was your own fault. I met a lot of my friends here, not a lot of my friends want to go here, but just the, the culture here. I mean, you know, this is a very art-centric place, especially music. Like, this place really just feels like, like the whole spirit of Iowa City kind of condensed into one lovely beer garden. There are so many different genres, you know, there, so there, there will be a night when your genre will be represented. So, and there are always new and up and coming bands. It's very exciting. I started coming here my freshman year, like back in 2019. And it's just, it's really fun. I like the beer garden, it's nice out here. One thing that works well for us is playing in the beer garden yeah. uh, because we're able to play for as many people as possible. One of the last times we played the beer garden, it was on a game day. And so we have a modular synthesizer set up with video projections and it's kind of weirdo electronic music. Seconds before we were about to play, the University of Iowa marching band came marching down the uh, alley. So we stalled our set. Yeah, and turned into the beer garden and played. It was like the drum corps and everything. And so it was packed. And then as soon as they stopped, we started our set. Um, that's one of my favorite shows that we've done at Gabe's. Yeah, maybe the favorite. Most cities you run into, they only want to book cover bands, they only want to book tribute bands, or like bands that have like a significant amount of Spotify streams, which is impossible to get. <laughs> Whereas Gabe's, doesn't matter what genre you are, who you are, anything like that, they will find some sort of platform to put you in front of people. And in a, like a town where like arts is so important, I think that's what makes Gabe's such a pillar to the local music community here. This place is just a watering hole for everyone that's, that's colorful and weird and uh, has their own... It, it's, it's a watering hole for everybody who, who loves creativity and having a good time. I love Gabe's and I love the people. Uh, everyone at Gabe's belongs here. <laughs> God willing, I'll probably die here, honestly. <laughs>